All right, we just got done with church, and oh, where's my Ashley? Ashley, you want to tell us what you're gonna go do right now? Get my cheer costume. You're gonna go pick up your cheer costume. You're not excited about it all at all, are you? We're late. No, we're not late. You can go from now until noon. Oh. <laughs> are you excited though? So I'm excited to see her in her little cheer costume. She has to try it on, make sure it fits, find the right shoe size. Um, hopefully they have socks. Do we have socks in the car by chance? For you to use? She has to try on our shoe, you okay? <laughs> um, anyway, so it's gonna be fun. And then she's gonna get to see her two cheer coaches. Hopefully, I think one of them will be there, but I don't know if both of them will be. But it's gonna be fun to like, see her get ready for cheer. It starts in a couple weeks. I think we start in August. Yeah. August right? 8th. August 8th. And uh, so we have another month or so until she actually starts, but it'll be fun to have her costume and, or not costume, her outfit. So we're gonna go pick that up. And they're supposed to be tight. Yep. Okay. Okay, yeah, try and get the zipper done up here. I'll hold, hold yep, I'll hold the top. Up. No, she got to hold her hair up. Yep. Yeah. There we go. All right. What do you think? That's good? Yeah. Yeah, make sure you can move around. Okay? Big on her. Yeah, but I think. Yo, Ashley. No, that's... Ashley. Yeah. Look at me. I don't think we're going to have to sit down. We're going to have That's a small. Yeah. Give a kick, quick! Give a kick! Hurry! People are waiting! <laughs> yeah, I think that one works good. Okay, Ash, what did you think? Good. Is that fun? Your yeah. two coaches were there, so that was kind of fun, right? Put your foot no. I'm witnessing this. This is my kids being sneaky. Keep that shoulder strap on. Are you gonna have fun at cheer? Yeah. It's gonna be really cool. So that they get the little costume. I get keep calling it a costume. They get their cheer outfit. And it was a really good system. They had uniform. It's called a uniform. uniform. I'm not getting the right terminology. Um, they had a QR code and that created an order form. And then we just went through every little thing and picked our size, tried everything on, multiple sizes and then it'll just create the order because not, nothing that they had there is what they're actually going to have and they haven't been printed on with like the school logo or our district logo and so anyway it was a good system and they had it really done well but you're excited right yeah and her her coach i was like i was actually secretly really glad that you're her coach and she's like i may have had something to do with hand picking her <laughs> Like I kinda, yeah, well, she just barely told me that. She's like, yeah, I kind of wanted to make sure she got onto my team. And Mrs. Min and Mrs. Molly are like a duel. Yeah. They go together, like peanut butter and jelly. I remember me and my friend went to like to the bell or something and we saw them sitting there together having lunch. Yeah. And they're just always hanging out. They're just good friends. Yeah, they yeah. do uh, math tutoring together during the summer and they teach together at their school. They're at a new school now. Um, but they, they're just best friends. So it's kind of fun to like get them as coaches. You're gonna have a good time. Now it's off to get out of our church clothes. It is 88 degrees right now outside. Um, and I think our house is going to be nice and cool. We got our air conditioning units out and I've been able to keep it at a balmy 67. Yesterday got up to like 91 or 92 and I still maintain the 67. So it's gonna be nice at home. Eat all your picks. Oh, that's I unfortunate. Didn't. I didn't eat it. I hid it under there. I didn't think anyone knew it was even there. Sorry, babe. You can have some keto crunch. Yeah. Some keto nuggets. That's, that's just like Twix. It's not like, oh, Ashley. Uh, no, we just barely got home. Girl. girl. She's like, hurry and shovel it in. Put it down, walk away slowly. Here, she made this cake you. yesterday and it's not free game to just eat it whenever. She had it, for, she was eating it for breakfast. Girl. Okay, enough. You enough. Come back. So also at church today, I was supposed to teach Ashley's class and I'm sitting there during our little, you know, it's called sacrament meeting, but during our little, you know, worshiping session. 
I was like kind of counting up the numbers of people who were there at church and I was like, well, one, well, Jason counted. Our numbers are really down right now and part of that is because it's summer and also because just people have gone inactive and not coming to church anymore. Um, but I started looking around. I'm like, Ashley, I don't think there's anyone here from your class. And I, there was there literally was not, no one. There was only one person when they came in. Well, he was out in the lobby. Yeah, he sits out in the lobby because his family isn't all fully vaccinated yet because they have kids that were too young until just recently. And so they still are precautious and they sit in the lobby. And I, so then I saw him afterward and I was like, it's only you two. Oops, it's only you two. I don't, like, that's awkward for the kids and for the teacher to only teach two kids. But it, no, so I then... What? One time we only had Natalie and me. Well, yeah. And then last time when we weren't here. He they only was, had him. Yeah, and so they had combined with another class. Yeah, so you combined today with the other class? Yeah. Another class. And uh, you had a good lesson? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. So it... <laughs> she, she just is doing blurps on her arm. Um, but... I'm, I'm doing Ashley's, not dishes, I'm just gonna, what do you call it? Stack the dishes, stack. rinse them and stack them. Uh, but it meant that I didn't have to teach, which was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I got to go and be with the ladies and have a lesson with them. And it was about friendships and being there for each other and having a sisterhood of women who look out for each other. And uh, at the end, I kind of, I hadn't noticed the whole class time, and maybe it, she didn't react until the very end, but the lady sitting next to me, who I'm good friends with, um, just was sobbing. And she just she just said, I just feel seen today for the first time in a long time, and I'm going through some things at home, and I just, you know, you gotta watch out for people and kind of look for ways that you can help them. Maybe you don't know what the problems are, maybe you don't even know that there are problems, but I think we underestimate our ability to be there for people or their need to have someone there for them. So that's my little, you know, hurrah for the day is look around you at the grocery store, your friends, like give them a little hello. We don't need to make casserole dinners for them all the time. It's just about um, saying hi. Like someone even said, you know, someone said, she's like, someone said hi to me today and it just made me feel so seen. What if 20 people had said hi to her? Like imagine how that would have made her feel, you know? So be one of those 20 people to say hi to someone and make them feel seen. So, that was I a good lesson. Hi. He doesn't even know that I'm having a serious conversation with you guys. And he interrupted <laughs> that with his smirkiness. Also, a friend of mine last night, we went to dinner um, for my friend who was moving. And uh, I said the word, I, someone like, Oh, I was talking about someone. I was like, yeah, do she move? And like someone across the table, she was like, oh, my husband doesn't let me use that word. And I was like, that's literally what I call my husband. And the lady next to me on the other side, she was like, she gave me a high five. She's like, yes, when they act douchey and they need a cleansing, that's the word. Yeah, I'm the cleanest man in the world is what I say. <laughs> you have to get a flush up all the time. You don't, I think, know any other adjectives. No, because I don't want to use the adjectives that I sometimes don't call you. So this is what it looks like to wake up after a Sunday nap that doesn't have a time limit. You guys can't really see all the fuzz, but you can see the breakaway back there. Um, we are going to go hang out with our friends. They're having an open house for the family that is moving to Texas. And so I'm going to get a little bit cleaned up, a little bit freshened up, and then... Um, See who's awake. <laughs> I know half of my kids are awake. Kaylee's right there having lunch, dinner. I don't even know what we're at. Oh, there's Chelsea. Have you been making something, Chelsea? What? Have you been making something? Yeah, repainting. Repainting yeah. something? Can I go show them? Sure. Okay, we'll go show you what, what she's been making. Look at that little. <laughs> I'm gonna go fix that. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love. I came outside to tell you this because all the kids are right inside and I don't want Chelsea to be embarrassed. She wouldn't mind me telling you the story, but she might just be a little embarrassed. So I have to preface um, the cute little rainbow stuff that Chelsea just painted. 
So about two weeks ago, Chelsea came up to me and um, she asked me if I would order something for her on Amazon. And she said, I have money, I can buy it myself, but I was just wondering if you could help me order it. I was like, okay, let's take a look at what it was. And I wanted to make sure it was a good thing and it was a logical thing to spend her money on or whatever. And it was a pride flag. And I asked her, um, it wasn't the one, the all-inclusive one with the little triangle notch for all the colors. It was just like an actual just rainbow flag. And I asked her, I was like, do you, like it's pretty, it's, it's cheap, we can get it, but do you understand what this is? She's 12, and she said, oh, I know what it is. It's a pride flag. And I said, okay, do you know like what that means? You know, and she said, she said, oh, I know what it means. And I said, okay, why do you want to get it? And I don't have any problem with her getting this, like none whatsoever. I just wanted to know what her thought process was on this. And Chelsea's a very sensitive kid, and she's also very friendly, has a ton of friends. We see them everywhere we go. She can meet someone on vacation. We found people on the airplane. We found people um, in airport, um, people that she knows at the grocery store are walking down the street. She is friends with everyone. Very kind person. And she said, my friends and I have been talking this month, Pride Month. She said, my friends and I have been talking a lot about this this month. It's kind of a topic of conversation. At the time, she was still in school. I don't think it's a topic at school necessarily. I think she just was honestly talking about it with her friends. She said, I've been talking about it a lot with my friends. And I said, okay. And is everyone okay? You know, do you have anyone that's, you know, upset or anything? She said, no, no, no that's not it and I said okay and uh, she said I want to get the flag because I want to make sure all of my friends whoever they are know that I'm here for them and I see them and I have never been more proud of one of my kids just heart of gold in a time where it's so difficult to even understand those concepts and embrace you know that concept I, it, especially in a Christian family and a Christian community um, I think we're very blessed to live here in Washington where it's accepted that community is accepted for the most part community I grew up in is not and I am very grateful that my kid has some diversity within her friends and she has a bigger heart because of it and so while it may appear first off for you to just see her painting rainbow on a rock to her it's obviously something different and I appreciate that my kid sees a little bit different and I didn't give that to her I think she's just I think she's just a very accepting kid and that's going to get her very very far in life and I you know gonna get that flag for her I, anyway just love that kiddo okay just the three of us going to say goodbye to our friends. I think Kaylee, oh, red light. Kaylee and Chelsea are gonna go out for a drive in a little bit and then you're gonna take Abby out for a drive. Yeah. Later on when it's not so hot. And I can't chat long because it's 91 degrees it's outside and I, he wants the AC back on. So it'll be fun. I'll just film Ashley when we're there, if at all. And then we'll be back with you guys. Love ya. Love ya. Bye. We're back at home texting our daughter who's upstairs. <laughs> well, I was calling her. Or calling her. Sorry, I didn't pull the camera out. It was just fun to chat with our friends and drumsticks. Whoa, where'd that show up? Where'd that come from? Is that Grandpa? No, I think that's Kaylee. What is it? What is it? Oh, goodness sakes. When our kids have money, we start buying stuff and then we can't have oh, it. They need to get the freezer packs down here so we can cool their room up. Well, we're back at home. I've got to figure out something for uh, dinner. I don't know what to have, but we might end our night with you. And it's just short. I don't normally film on Sundays, but it was fun to go and get Ashley's little cheer uniform. Jason, what can we have? The taquitos are gone. Is there any ravioli? Well, he's gone. So if we do anything more exciting tonight, I'll share that with you. But as of now, I think we're just going to call it a night. Went to the dollar store the other day. All band-aids. That's all I got. Band-aids and refill soap. And refill soap for all our little soap dispensers. Take care. I think we're going to have a fun day tomorrow, but a majority of Ashley's day is going to a little activity camp for church. And Jason and I had to volunteer for the first three hours. And then we'll get three hours off, and then we have to go back and pick her up. And then she repeats that Tuesday and maybe Wednesday. I'm actually hoping we can get to the lake because it's still going to be good weather, but I haven't gone to the beach yet and I kind of really want to. I want to like start that, but I haven't been able to. So hopefully by the time I actually can, we don't have rainy weather, but that's going to be my luck. So take care you guys and we will see you guys next time. Good night.
the magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you